everyone, Timmy from vMix and today we're going to learn about how to create a picture-in-picture -picture effect in vMix. Picture-in-picture -picture is a great way to display two or more pieces of content on the screen at the same time. Picture-in-picture -picture, or pips as the cool kids like to call them give you the ability to show information through images, videos, cameras, video calls or any other vMix input to make your content a lot more engaging. You'll see it all over broadcasts including news, sports, talk shows, and pretty much everywhere else. You won't be able to stop seeing it now, so you can blame me if you're constantly saying, oh, there's a picture in picture and another pip, everywhere a pip pip. Now, if you're watching this video, you probably already know the ways that you can use it. You just wanna know how you can do it in vMix. That, and you probably want to stop hearing me say the word pip. All right, so let's move on with the tutorial. Now in vMix, there are two easy ways to create a picture in picture effect. Well, there's probably more, but these are the easiest two that we're gonna show you. Now, the first way is to use the overlay channel system in vMix. The overlay channels allow you to place any of your inputs into certain parts of your production. You can control where the content is displayed, how it's transitioned, and how long it stays on the screen. You can set the overlay to be removed at a certain time interval or display and remove it manually. To put an input into one of these overlay channels, you just need to click one of the little numbers below each input. For example, I can overlay a video in the top corner just by clicking the little one underneath it, for example, like this. And then I can press it again to take it off. Now we'll need to set up these overlay channels so that you can create your picture in picture effect. So you can do that by going to the overlay section in vMix in the main interface. So when you go there now, now I've got a few that are already set up. So as you can see here, when I click the number one, um, it was in the top corner like so, and it faded up and I chose to press the button to turn it on and press the button to turn it off again. So I'm gonna to go to number three here. So you can select which channel that you want to create the picture in picture effect for. All right, so the type um, in the drop down here is full screen. So that's gonna be default. So full screen is typically for lower thirds. Like if you're gonna create a full screen overlay, but what we wanna do is set that to picture in picture. Then for the effect, that's the transition effect. So um, I'm going to leave this as a fade, but you can choose to use a, a slide, a wipe, a zoom, anything like that that you want to use for the effect. So I'm just gonna leave that as fade. So the effect duration is the, the time it takes for the transition to take place. So at the moment it's set to 500 milliseconds, which is half a second. So I'm gonna just make this a little bit quicker and set that to 300 millisecond fade. Now underneath that, you've got the duration. So currently the duration is set to zero. And when it's set to zero, it means that you need to manually turn on the overlay and manually turn off the overlay. So this is good if that you, you know, if you set up shortcuts or if you want somebody to manually be doing it, it's not timed. So if you wanna time it, you can just enter a number in here. So I'm gonna enter 3000 milliseconds, which is three seconds. So that's going to be displayed for three seconds and then it's going to fade away. So you can set the milliseconds as you can see here. Now underneath that, we've got the stinger input and stinger cut point. Now, we're not making a stinger today, so we don't need to worry about these. And then underneath that, we can set it whether we want any transparency on the overlay channel. Okay, so now that we've got those settings set up, we can set up the size of the picture in picture. Now on the right hand side, all you need to do if you wanna move it around, you can click the left mouse button and you can drag it around like so. Then I could hold down shift to zoom in and zoom out by dragging the mouse in and out and holding down the left key, left button, sorry. And then I can drag it and put it into, let's put in the top corner here. Now I can do that all manually as well um, by using these sliders here. I can set the zoom and pan and I can also rotate it on different axes. So if I wanted to make it look a little bit cooler, I could rotate it on different axes, X, Y, and Z down here. I'm just gonna leave that as widescreen. Underneath that, I can set a border, a color, uh, thickness and then the radius if I want it to be a rounded rectangle. So as a quick recap for this, we've set this overlay channel to number three. It's a picture in picture. It's gonna fade. It's gonna take uh, 0.3 of a second to fade. The duration is going to be three seconds. Then it's going to fade back off again. And uh, it's gonna be in the top corner here. So we'll click okay. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to quickly test that out. So I'm gonna go number three gonna be up there for three seconds and then it will fade away. So that's uh, how you can set up a picture-in-picture uh, -picture effect using the overlay channels. Now, if you did wanna do it manually, like we showed in the first one, um, I can choose to press the button and then I choose when to remove this manually. So I press it again to turn it off. 
Now these are really handy for the shortcuts. So if you wanna set up your X keys, your keyboard, MIDI controller, um, stream deck, anything like that, and you can program all of your different inputs to go into the different overlay channels that you want to do. So that's really handy for that. Now, another couple of cool things you can do. So let's say, for example, I put this in the corner here. If I right click it, it's going to zoom out. So that's actually a, let me find it here, a shortcut effect that's available as a overlay input zoom. So if you want to um, add this as a shortcut to make this zoom out like so, and back again, it's called uh, overlay input zoom is the shortcut function. Now I can turn that off as well. Now I can also preview a, an overlay. So if I right click on it, it's going to appear here and I can right click on to, to remove it. Now, if I wanted to move something from the preview, so I've got a video here and I also want to preview the overlay, I can right click the one here or whatever number I'm using and I can transition that across. As you can see, it's also transitioned across this overlay and then I can turn it off here when I don't need it as well. Now you notice that these buttons light up in the center here, so I can also choose to turn off an overlay from this center console to remove all of that particular channel's overlay. So using the overlay channel method works really well if you're putting a lot of different inputs into the same position in your production. So for example, if you're doing a news report or if you're doing a talk show and you always need to put a particular um, video or image in that corner, so say you've got a, a news report that's cycling through videos and you wanna put it in that exact same spot every time, the overlay channels is a really great way to do that. So for an example, like if I wanna show the content in the top corner, I can do that with all of my videos and inputs here. So if you're doing a show and you wanna always have the content there, uh, the overlay channels is a really great way to do it. And you have four to work with as well, so that's really handy. Okay, so one last thing before I forget, well, I did forget, so I've come back to record it, is that you can have multiple overlay channels on at the same time. So I could put this one in position one, this one in position two, uh, this one in position four if I wanted to, and have them all mixed together like that. So that's something that you can do. And it also works with the next section that we're going to talk about. You can use the overlay channels and uh, method two, which is the input multi-view, together at the same time as well. Let's move on to the second method for creating a picture-in-picture, -picture, and that is using the input multi-view in vMix. So this is best if you want to create an input that permanently has a picture-in-picture -picture effect. Now the overlay channels are great for having temporary areas that you want to be putting different content in, but perhaps you want to create an input that has layers and has a permanent picture-in-picture. -picture. So you can use the input multi-view to do that and layer different inputs over the top of each other. So what you need to do in order to set up an input multi-view is to go into the settings. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is just go to this Hawaii video here as an example. I'm gonna go to the settings here, and then I'm gonna to go to the multi-view tab. Then I'm going to go here on the second layer and just add breaking news. Now, as you can see, it's full screen, but we wanna make that a picture in picture. So what I can do is just use the mouse, left click it, and then use the dragging to zoom like we did before. Now I can also go into the position for this one, move it around here and also make changes to the zoom and the rotation and that type of thing. Okay, so now we ha actually have a permanent picture in picture here. So as you can see, now I have a permanent picture in picture that I can use as a part of my production. Okay, so let's just say, oh, maybe I want to continue to use those independently. This Hawaii video now has this other video on top of it. So what I'm gonna do is going to go back to multi-view and just remove this for now. And then I'm going to create a blank input that I can create a picture in picture on. So if I go here, I go to blank. And it's gonna create a blank color input here. Then I can go into the settings, go to multi-view and then start layering it this way. So I'm gonna to go to Hawaii video, the second layer, I'm gonna go breaking news. I'm just gonna go shift mouse and then move the click over here. Okay, so now I have, as you can see, I've got the Hawaii video, I've got the breaking news video, but now I've combined them together in, as a part of an input multi-view here. So now I can bring this across uh, and I can also then use the merge effect to bring that out similar how we did the, uh, the zoom effect on the overlay channel. So now I've got a picture in picture effect set up specifically for this one um, particular input that I have here, which is combining two inputs together um, on the multi-view layers. By using the input multi-view, it's a great way to be able to create 
different inputs with a lot of different elements on them so that you can use them frequently. So you might not want temporary things, you might want to be building your own inputs with all of the necessary layers that you want for each shot. So this is really handy, especially for cameras. So if you're always going to be having a picture in picture with a camera on there, um, you can use something like the input multi view to do that. Now, it's really good to be testing this out yourself as well to see what method works best for you. Now there is a 0.5, uh, so we're gonna go two and a half ways of doing this, but this is more of a, um, a double box effect that can be done very easily from the virtual set section of vMix. So if we go to add input, we can go to virtual set and then we can grab one of these double boxes. So this isn't really a picture in picture, it's more of a, a, a side by side shot. So if I go to the setup here, I can choose what goes into box one, let's say this one here, and then box two, and I can do that like so. So now I have my own kind of version of a double box. It's not a picture in picture really, uh, but a lot of people do use this for doing interviews and that type of thing. Um, so that's a good option if you were looking for a side by side shot um, instead of you know kind of a traditional picture in picture. Thanks for watching this video today on Picture in Picture. If you do have any questions about it or about vMix in general, please send us an email via the support page on vmix.com. It's really hard to answer like technical YouTube questions without any idea of your setup or what you're trying to do. So when we get technical questions, there's a response maybe along the lines of, hi, can you please send us through an email to the support team? Thanks a bunch. There is a link in the description to our support page as well. So if you want any support, feel free to send us through an email. So thanks for watching this video and we'll stream you later. Thanks for watching. Click to watch another exciting vMix video or head to vmix.com for a free 60-day trial. See you later.